Quick shotgun tip. You can't afford to know it all. Why is that? How many people do you know that have a very dedicated specific skill set? They have an actual natural talent for something it seems. They just seem to always get it done on time every time. Like they've genuinely put tens of thousands of hours into their craft, their hobby, their profession. Whether it's in coding, auto repairs, computer repairs, artwork, stock trading, fitness, music, anything. How many people do you know have a specialty for these things? Or at least one of these things, just one of these things. How many people? So now we're gonna ask the question, what's your niche? What are you good at? What are you special at? What's your special little snowflake skill? What kind of value do you bring to other people's lives around you? I'm not talking about the people in your Discord group. I'm talking about the people that are in your local community church or your family members or your friend circle or people at your job, anywhere. Do you provide value to anyone in your physical space? And even more importantly than that, even more importantly than just the value that you provide. Are you called on? Do you get called for that particular skill that you have? It doesn't matter if you have 10,000 hours in software development or graphic design if nobody knows your name, okay? Like for example, pulling directly from one of the Godfather's pages is that every man has a wallet. I don't have my wallet. I guess that not every man has, I guess not every man has a wallet, but every man seems to have hiccups in the middle of recording. Okay, every man has his wallet. Every man has something within his wallet that is of value to other people. I say as I have no cash. Ignore that. Every man has a wallet and must lead with his wallet. And no, I'm not talking about these actual wallets. I'm talking about your man wallet. How the Godfather put it, your man wallet. What do you bring to other men? Your money, your position, your power, and among other things, your value. Value to your friends, family, and community. What kind of value do you bring to these three key areas? Let's look at it another way then. In your car, one day you're driving and then your brake line breaks. You try fixing it yourself, but unfortunately the nut that holds the line to the actual hose is welded. So now you have to break and cut off the brake line in order to actually remove the brake line. I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone that's not mechanically inclined, <laughs> but what are you gonna do at that point? Are you going to A, try and replace both a brake hose and a brake line and refill the brake fluid and pump out any air that's left over in your brake system? And are you gonna purge the brake system as well on top of that? Are you gonna do all of that by yourself when you don't even barely know how to change a spark plug? Or are you gonna call on Uncle Ron, who's been in the industry for over 30 years and is gonna fix it for you for free so long as you pay for the parts? Anybody with a brain is gonna call on Uncle Ron. So in this example, obviously you would go to your uncle who has 30 years of experience and is gonna do it for free. He's of value to you. So what kind of value can you bring back to Uncle Ron? Maybe he has a fish tank that he's not very proficient at keeping and you have fish tanks that you love taking care of. So you can have that value in exchange where he can call on you anytime he needs an emergency tank maintenance. Or maybe he needs a website for a new business that he has in mind and he can call on you for being a graphic designer and a web building a website for him and encoding everything. He can call on you for that. But also here's another key point. It doesn't matter if you can help him out if he doesn't know that you can help him out with that. How can you fix that? You can fix it by being more open and communicative with other people that you are around with. The only reason that you know that your Uncle Ron fixed cars for 30 years is because that's his passion. Everywhere he goes, he's always talking about how his latest project was doing this or that. And, he, and everybody knows that he's able to be in the industry and he knows how to fix cars. So then what's your value that isn't money? 
We're not talking money here. We're talking skills. We're talking actual societal useful skills. What kind of skills do you bring to the table? What kind of skills do you have in your man wallet of yours that you can bring to the table for other men to deal with? Even if you haven't had a hobby, even if you don't have a skill, even if you don't have a trade, if you have been dabbling with a budgeting hobby for a few months and you're kind of interested in it and you've been trying to expand your skill set and trying new things, it doesn't matter if no one knows. So a huge part of bringing value to other people is to be able to have a large social network and be more social and outgoing with other people. For example, my specialty is my ability to be able to help people with online long distance relationships and as well help people immigrate from other countries into the US using the K-1 immigration system. That is my specialty niche. If you need help with that, go ahead and shoot me an email, link in the description below. But the reason that I'm saying all of this is because you can't afford to know it all. There are just too many incredible things to specialize in that you can't commit 10,000 hours to every individual niche in the entire world. You can't commit 10,000 hours to knowing how to build a good website, how to get good graphic design, how to get good at fixing cars, how to get good at construction, how to get good at fish keeping. You know, you can't spend all this time learning every single skill because time is valuable and you need to spend this time with other people. That's the entire reason our species was able to survive and evolve and thrive is because we were able to come to other people when we needed help because they had a specialty skill that we didn't. Similarly, we developed our own interesting specialty skills for when we could help other people that need our help. It was a whole systematic trade that happened back in the day, and it still happens in this modern day with businesses, with coaches, with personal trainers, with psychiatrists. This interaction always happens in between everyone else. Every successful business needs to rely on another business for goods or another business for supplies and another business for sales. Everyone needs another person to be successful and thrive in this life. You genuinely cannot afford to try and even know it all. So specialize, find a hobby, find a skill, find something that you like doing. And then find other online clubs or groups that also share this interest. Get in more contact with them, kind of find updates and get in the habit of being able to actually build good relationships with other people, whether it's online or in person. And if there's nothing in person for you, you can take the reins and go, yeah, and actually create the group and start advertising that you have a group up and that you're gonna be doing this event and this event. The, the amount of unlimited potential that you have, if you have a good skill set that's useful to other people is bountiful. It's insane what you can provide to other people and what they can provide to you, the amount of money you can make, the status you can make for yourself, the power that you can achieve, and it all leads into having a happy, beautiful family in the future. When you find your future wife, you make future babies, and you have a future career that you're super proud of that brings in enough income to where you can work, she doesn't have to work, and you can provide for the family. That is a beautiful future. And it all happens when you start developing and advertising your own skills. This is why you can't afford to know it all. So get out there, start learning something that you like, that you're, you know you can make into a profession for other people and find ways to make it work. I'm telling you it can actually work. This is how I've been. This is how I've made my progress. And now I'm letting you know the key secret to how I've been successful. I'm not, I'm not selling you anything either. I'm just letting you know, okay? This is just a small YouTube channel. So I'm, I'm just getting my opinion out there. If you vibe with this message, give my channel a subscription for more videos. Check out my other videos on my channel. Give this video a like, leave a comment. What's your skill? What's your passion? What's your hobby? Let me know. Come on, remember to, to take care of your mind, your body, and soul, always, okay? Have a good one, mate.